there are cramped New York apartments. And then there's the Brooklyn home of Eric Edwards, filled with what he estimates to be a $10 million collection of African art. Every inch is full of statues, masks and drums, with some items dating back thousands of years to ancient Nubian kingdoms. Eric says it was his father who taught him the importance of his African heritage. So his purpose in teaching uh, us African history and culture was to give us some, some sort of an inoculation, if you will, against racism. He wanted to make sure that we knew something about our history. He caught the collecting bug early on, originally focusing on audio equipment and the huge record collection, which he still has. But from the early 1970s, financed by his high-paying job with the AT&T phone company, his focus shifted to African art. Some of his artifacts, like this enormous ceremonial drum, are set for display at New York's Metropolitan Museum of Art. But now he's seeking a permanent home for all of them and has launched a campaign on the Kickstarter crowdfunding website to raise money and awareness. But the motivation to build the museum isn't just to free up some space at home. Eric hopes the project will create some understanding in a society with rising racial tensions. We're at an impasse for sure as far as con connectivity and communication between the races and appreciation of the races. And I can't see a better way to bring people together than through the appreciation of the African artifacts and the stories uh, that they tell. Eric hopes to see the museum open its doors as soon as next year. <laughs>